Did you know yesterday that streamers and YouTubers were playing a charity football match just like YouTube Shorts and Sidemen last year? I didn't know either. I just woke up from my 8 p.m. nap and all I saw was Kai Sinet nagging. Six, six! I was gonna score, I was gonna score, I was gonna score three goals! Three! I was gonna score three goals, bro! Everybody ran out of there! This whole charity came came out of nowhere. Usually they advertise a lot about it and you see it everywhere. Even if you don't follow uh, the people who are playing in the game. But anyways, it was a match between AMP. Uh, Any milk, please. I, I don't know what it stands for, to be honest. Versus Beta Squad. And the whole point of streamers leaving their man cave and YouTubers coming all together. Starting a football match, well, first of all, is because they want to raise a lot of money for charity to donate it to the poor, to the people in need and the second part is entertainment it is very interesting entertainment since football is a very popular game and watching your favorite content creator just messing up in football it's a it's one of the most entertaining things you can watch even the people who are not from the group of amp and battle squad other big streamers and youtubers like droski like deji gideon other people from sidemen other youtubers they all came along as well and it was pretty going pretty good it was very entertaining to watch obviously they were like wrestling in, in the middle of a football game they were messing up the ball was in front of them and they're shooting it out. Here we have Kai Sinat going and grabbing the fan's sign that the fan was holding up saying, we friends though. It was all fun and games, all entertaining until disaster happened. Zombie attack. From all of the players here this afternoon. Yeah, this is great to see. Due to the zombie attack of these teenagers, these young adults coming in for likes, all of them having their phones in their hands because, you know, they're about to make history and they're all about to go viral. The whole event was canceled because they could not get people out of the field. Now, as a person who are big fans of these people, you pay money, that money is going to go for a good cause and you are there to sit and get entertained. When you come and ruin the whole event like this, it just it just fucks it up for everyone. Especially when the scores are even and they're about to go to penalties because there's only a minute left. And that's when you decided to ruin the whole game. If, for example, the score was like 6-0 or 6-1, 6-2, and your favorite YouTubers, they won, and you want to pitch the, you know, the whole field and go and be like, ooh, like carry them and just raise them up and down. That's kind of understandable. When, when you come and ruin the whole event for everyone when the scores are even and they're about to go to penalties, that is some loser activity right there. Now, at the beginning, the security tried to push all these losers out, but the, unfortunately, there was just a lot of these cockroaches running around in the field and they had no choice but to abandon the match and call it off. And obviously, all the YouTubers, they were running inside because they were about to get touched by a lot of their fans while the content creators were waiting the security they were still trying to kick everyone off the field on, until they just gave it all up they were like it's, it's just useless right now i mean i wouldn't blame them you know i'm not saying like oh the security was pretty bad they had one job they should have just kept people off of the field it's nothing like that. Even if in the YouTube Shorts versus Sidemen last year charity game that happened, if this happened, they would have also abandoned the match and there was nothing they could have done about it. This was just very ill fans. This was just fucking losers decided to ruin this whole charity game. The people there, they knew they paid for money that's going to go to charity. They were respectful. They were... They came there to get entertained and they did and they were very happy about it. Maybe we had one or two pitch invaders where they went and they hugged their content creators, but that was it. I don't know which country they played in, but it was absolutely not the security's fault. It was just these degenerate people just running in the field and ruining, ruining the whole game. And who were the type of people trying to invade the pitch? Let me show you the, one of the first few people who tried to come in and failed miserably. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Bro had one job. Run straight. He absolutely failed at doing that with his uh, majestic <laughs> cut. Now, AJ, the second he got to safety, he went on Instagram and this is what he said. The playoffs, all the Americans travel. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I just, I just wish that it ended properly. I don't care about losing, winning in the end. I just wish the game ended. It's just sad, man. It's sad. But I appreciate every single person that's come out here, man. This is Shark here as well, sharing his opinions about what an elf fans they were. <laughs> L fans, L fans for real. Everyone who ran on the pitch should be ashamed of himself. You ruined, you ruined the event. I'm not even sugarcoating it. You ruined the whole event. I mean, end of the day, the whole purpose of this match was done. The people already paid for it. The money's already going to char charity. The only unsatisfying thing is you don't know who won. We just don't know who won. And the interesting part is even Aisho Speed's fans did not do what these guys do. I should speed fans are in my opinion the wildest people who when their grandma tells them something they are going to bark back at their grandma and grandpa and they had the decency to sit and watch enjoy the game and say Sir! now before i end the video i have some highlights that i want to make fun of <laughs> let's watch this they put sketch as a goalkeeper Chunks, Nico, some big guys in there. Sketchy squinting. Not Sarks great. has gone for goal. Oh my! What the fuck do you expect when you put Sketch as a goalkeeper? I'm not. I'm not talking about his height or his body shape. I'm talking about the second that ball started coming towards him, he saw five balls coming towards him because his eye class number is probably like minus twelve. Goalkeepers are usually extremely tall and. They just wanted to lose, or maybe Bro was really good at being a goalkeeper back in high school. I don't know, but it's a. If I was a captain of that group, if I was a coach, he would play on on the bench or some. I'll probably I'll put him in defense. Second up, we got Gideon using his body to kill Ray. <laughs> Let's have a look at that again. Yeah, I mean, my man was bringing back the plank. I'm very surprised Ray actually survived that because Bro is like a chopstick. One one push and he is breakable. Gideon running towards Ray. It was like those guys who knock on your door and say, do you have the time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? <laughs> he was chasing Ray, trying to turn him into a Christian. But anyways, that was it for today's video. I just hope that next charity game that happens, just don't, don't ruin it. If you're about to attend the charity game, sit, enjoy, be entertained, troll them if you want from back there by holding a sign that says, we friends though. It's just, it just makes you look stupid if you just invade the whole pitch and just ruin the whole game. It makes you look like an idiot. Just anyway, I just wanted to talk about this, share this news with you if you had no idea this was happening. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.